In this video, we're gonna talk about lure options for catching walleyes right now. Now, we're getting into the summer, it's early summer, the walleye bite has been really good, and what's happening is these the walleyes are moving into, they're moving into weeds, some of them are on rocks, and they're really starting to feed heavy on minnows. Minnows are working really well. Um, or any bait that represents a minnow. So if you don't, you know, if you, on these hot days, it can be hard to keep minnows alive, or if you don't want to use minnows, a, a good minnow substitute type lure uh, is the way to go. The one that I've been using a lot lately is these Berkeley Galt minnows. And, and I'm especially liking the Emerald Shiner. You can see right here, I have three bags of the Emerald Shiner because I'm hammering walleyes on these gall minnows with the emerald shiner. Another um, color that I like is this fire tiger. Sometimes a little bit more flash is getting these walleyes to bite. So the way I'm fishing these, it's really simple. First, I'm going to show you um, what I'm, what kind of jigs I'm using when I'm fishing these lures because that's really important that you're using the right weight jig uh, for when when you're fishing these. Now the main way I'm fishing these baits right now is uh, pop jigging or snap jigging, casting out and working that bait aggressive back to the boat. That's what's you know really working well. If you're in weeds with this type of technique, what you're gonna wanna be doing is you're gonna be wanna be right on the weed edge to um, slightly off the weed edge. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the boat off the weeds, you're gonna cast up to the weeds, uh, the weed edge and then work the bait back. I, if, if you have, if you're up on a feeding flat and the drop off isn't that steep, ideally you're going to be able to cast up a little bit into the weeds and then work it back to the boat. If the drop off is steep and there's kind of a weed wall, the weeds could be too thick or soon they will be too thick to cast up into the weeds and, and pop jig. So in that case you're just going to have to cast to the edge, which is what the walleyes are running uh, usually and then work it back to the boat. So it's important when you're using plastics to use a little bit heavier jig. So when I'm I'm using two size minnows, this is the, the, the two and a half inch emerald shiner minnow. The fire tiger is the same one. When I'm using this lure and if the water is relatively shallow, which a lot of times it is, I'm gonna use a one eighth ounce jig. Um, a lot of times I'll use white or chartreuse, or blue and white. Those are those are the colors that are kind of my go-to so far this year. And I'm just gonna hook it just like I would hook a normal minnow. I'll show you real quick how I would do that. I'm gonna take the, the, the galt minnow. I'm going to hook it right through the, the face, up th through the top of the head, and then I'm gonna push it all the way up. Bam, that's what it's gonna look like. And this bait right here has caught me a ton of walleyes already this year. Now this, the two and a half inch, it's fairly small. If I'm fishing on a spot um, where I think there's going to be a little bit bigger fish, there's a chance of a little bit bigger fish, then I'm going to go with the bigger, the bigger galt minnows. These are the biggest ones that I can find. And they're the four inch, they're the 4.8 inch. These are much bigger. I prefer to use these bigger ones. You still get the smaller walleyes to bite it, but you don't get as many. You have a better chance at getting those bigger fish. At this time of year, they like a little bit bigger meal on average. If you get a big cold front, they won't hit this. You can downsize to the smaller ones. Um, but day in and day out, I prefer to use the big ones. Again, I'm gonna be snap jigging this, cast it out, and pop it back to the boat, working it pretty aggressive, you're gonna get a lot of bites. Now when you're using these bigger gulp minnows, you wanna go to a bigger jig. So for that, I'm gonna use a quarter ounce, uh, quarter ounce jig, here's a quarter ounce in orange, to a three eighths ounce, depending on how much wind there is and how deep it is. If there's a lot of wind or it's uh, fairly deep, probably uh, you know over 12 feet, 
I'm, I'm probably gonna go to a little bit heavier jig so uh, I can feel that a little bit better. I know I'm making contact with the bottom when I need to and it's, it just gives you better control in either deeper water or a lot of wind with these bigger baits. The bigger the plastic you use, the bigger uh, the jig you need to use. So the gulp is really working well. Any, anywhere you can pop jig, the gulp is hitting, which, whether it's weeds, rocks, um, in spots you can still get on a wood bite, the gulp is really hitting. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure to um, subscribe so you catch the next video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.